Good morning friends. Welcome back to Panika Tutorials. In this video, I want to discuss how to write a C program to read the information from the user and write it into the file. These kind of programs will help the beginners to understand the concept in a better way and also useful for the students who are preparing for the placements. So I request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding. Look at the program, what they are asking. Read the information from the user. Okay and then save it into the file. Usually we have three modes in a file. One is the read mode, write mode and append mode. Read mode is only allows you to read the information from the file. You cannot change the information in the file. Whereas the write mode will open the file but all the existing information, suppose let's take that already you have the file with some existing content and if you open the file in the write mode, all the existing content you will lose and then file will open with a blank. So whatever the information you want to save, you can do it. Suppose let's take that if you open the file in the append mode, then you can add the information to the existing file. Is it clear? So now I want to write the information into the file. So I don't want to add, if you want to open, add the file, then you can open the file in the append mode. But I want to just save the information in the file. So I will open the file in the write mode. Is it clear or not? So what I will do in this program is that I will ask the user to enter the n number of students details like his their marks, their name and those information I want to save it into the file. Okay. So to do that one, I need to include two header files. One is the stdio.h and another one is the stdlib.h. What is the purpose of stdlib.h? You will understand when I use a function called exit. Okay. Then what I need to do is that I need to open the function called main with the return type as void. So this function does not return any value. Then what I need to do is that I need to ask the user to enter the name. So to do that one, I am creating in character array called name with size 50. Then I need to ask the user to enter his marks. So I am declaring a variable called marks and data type is int. Then I need to ask the user to enter the n number of students details and I. So these two variables I will use it later. Okay. So this is the declaration part. Now what I need to do, I need to declare a file pointer. So I am using file and the file pointer is p. So this pointer p can have the address of the particular file. So what I will do is that first I will ask the user to open a file. Okay. So the function I will use it if open. Now this function will have two arguments or two parameters. One is the name of the file with an extension and the mode. So here I want to open a file called student.txt. So I am opening a file called student with format is text. Okay. And here I am specifying the mode of the file as write. Now look at the mode which is write. Now if the file is not there, then the new file will be created. If the file is already existing with some information, all the information you will lose and the file will be open. So now if the file is there, then it will give the base address of the file. If the file is not there, it will create a new file called student.txt and the base address will be given to the pointer called p. Due to some issues, either memory or some other issues, if the file could not able to open, then if open function will return a null value. So I need to look at whether the file has been successfully created or not. If p is equal to equal to null, I can say that the file has been not created. Then only this function will return the null value. If file has been created and open, then it will return the base address. If the file could not able to open, if the file itself is not open, what I can do on the file? I have to exit this program. So I will print a statement is file is not opened or not created or whatever the error I want to write I can write and I can exit from the program. So I will use a function called exit 
and I will give some integer value. So I can exit from the program by displaying the error called file is not open. Suppose if the file has been not, is been opened, then it will have the base address of the file. So what I need to do, I need to ask the user to number of students, how many students details you want to enter. So I will display a statement called enter the number of students. So I am using a function called printf, enter the number of students. And I will use an escape character which is backslash n. After printing the statement, it will go to the new line. Once the user has entered the number, I need to store it in a variable. As the number is an integer, I am using a format specifier as percentage %d and I need to store that information in a variable called n. So I am giving the address of the variable n. Once the user has entered the number of students, I need to ask the user to enter the name and marks of each student. So I will use a loop starting from 0 to n i plus plus okay or you can start the loop from i is equal to 1 and you can go up to i less than or equal to n. Now I will ask the user to enter the name and marks of a student. Enter the name and marks of a student okay. Then once the user has entered the name and marks, I need to store that information in a particular variable. So I am using the function called scanf. Now the name, so I need to use the format specifier percentage %s yes, and marks is an integer, so percentage %d. And I need to store it in the variable, so I will write name and then ampersand marks. Is it clear? I hope you have understood. Once the user has entered the name and marks of a particular student, I want to store that information into the file called student.txt. Now we can use a function called fprintf. Till now you would have seen the function called printf. But now I am discussing or introducing a function called fprintf. Now let me discuss what is the difference between these two. Now printf will print something on a console. Suppose if I have written the statement called printf, enter the name and marks. So this statement will be displayed on the console. But the same information I want to save it into a file, then I can use a function called fprintf. Now whenever we say a function, how many parameters or arguments it will take as an input. This fprintf will take three arguments. One is the file pointer which is pointing to a particular file and what format specifiers you have to do and what variables you want to save. Is it clear? So let me discuss for you. So we have a function called fprintf. Its purpose is to save the information onto a file. Okay, And it will have three parameters. One is the file pointer. The meaning is that in which file you want to save the information. I want to save this information in the file called student.txt. Usually we will never mention the name of the file. We will mention the file pointer which is pointing to this file. If you look at the file pointer which is pointing is p. So I am specifying the variable here as p. And I need to specify the format specifiers. One is that I am storing the name and marks. So I have to write percent as yes, percent as %d. And then I have to give the backslash n. What is the purpose of that one? I will discuss for you. Now I need to save the name and marks. So I am writing the name of the variables here. Is it clear? I hope you have understood. One is the file pointer, format specifiers and the variables. So here why I am writing backslash n is that once you saved the one student details, I want to go to the new line and save the second student details. So that's why I have given the escape sequence which is backslash n. Then once it is done for one student and I need to repeat the statement for n students. So that's why I have written the loop. Okay. So now once it is done, it's my duty to close the file. So I will use the function called fclose and I will specify the file pointer which is pointing to the particular file. So then it will close the file called student.txt. 
then I will write a statement called get ch and I will close the main function. So this is a program to read the information from the user and save that information into the file. Okay. So I hope you have understood this program. If you have any doubts related to this program, feel free to ask me in the comment section. I will try to clear your doubts as early as possible. Thank you for watching the complete video. Have a nice day.